Yum, yum! Okay, let's start rigging the accessory up. First, we're going to add uh, the rig control that we will use to control the accessory. So I'm just hitting simply L to add a new locator to the scene, and I will call it character one, double underscore accessory, and then space, and in the parentheses, CTRL for control. Uh, again, important to keep this naming convention. I'll set the color to magenta as well, and then we'll set some shape settings. Um, cylinder, not solid, and uh, radius of, let's see, 30, and the length of point 0.1. Also, let's try to get the draw options and the wireframe color to white. We will leave the control at the origin, so it's fine. However, if you wanted to the control to have some rest pose of, um, that's not at the origin, then what's recommended is to move it um, to a given location and then zero all the transforms. Because in ACS, all the controls, they need to have the position and rotation at zero in the rest pose. So if he, if the origin um, placement is not right for you, be sure to uh, to zero out the transforms after you move the control where you want it, and also be sure to do it in the setup mode. The next step is to add uh, required tags. So first, as this item is visible in the viewport, can be selected by the user. Let's define the segment tag for it. So again, accessory or GSG accessory. ID will do later. And uh, one other tag that's special to recontrols is the tag that says which channels should be animated on this control or, or which channels can be keyframed. So this is the RGCH, which means rig channels tag. And we mark the channels by uh, the first letter of the transform. So for position, it's P, and then the uh, hash is just saying that we want it to be animated. So position X, Y, Z, we want to be animated. Rotation X, Y, Z, we want to be animated. But the scale, we do not. So we do S and three times equals sign, which means that we want to lock the scale channels on this control. Now, if you want, and the correct transform tool to be enabled when you select uh, this rig control, just like it happens with other rig controls. So if I, for example, get this one, I'll get rotation. If I select this one, I get a transform tool with a position and rotation. So if you want the same behavior, you need to actually go to, it's best to just select another control that does what you need. And you need to copy the item command um, that's set here. So I'm just gonna copy this string and just select the new control and paste it here. So like this, I have a position. If I select our new control, I do have a transform tool and I can move and rotate at the same time. Finally, if you want your custom control to support any drag and drop behaviors that ACS offers, you need to copy them again from some other controls. And these are under assembly and under drop script. And we have a source drop script. so. That's the one. So let's copy and paste this one. And then we have the destination one as well. So let's copy and paste this one as well. So this is the control rig for our new module done. And let's integrate it with the ACS rig hierarchy. With the new rig control selected, I'm going to hit Ctrl G to create a group locator. And we'll call it character one accessory rigging folder. And this needs to go to the custom rigging folder inside a ACS rig hierarchy. So let me just collapse the segment map and collapse actually in fact the entire rig um, folder to see that yeah, here's the custom rig. So this is this is where our new rigging needs to go. Obviously we need to add new items to the assembly. And we need to attach the control to the rig because right now it's just a free floating item. So if I grab the master control and move it around, you can see that the, the control gets left behind. So what we 
what we want is we want to select the control, actually go into the setup mode first, select the control, select the master control, and under modifiers we're going to add the dynamic parent modifier. So we do that, and now you can see that the, the parent channel appeared here under the uh, control node, and it's just in modus shows that it's connected to something. So double click the yellow dot, and that will pull the dynamic parenting setup in. Now, if we go all the way, we are pulling the master control as well, and that's not what we really need. So if you take a look, those three dots mean that this node is already present in some other assembly, and um, it's got its duplicate in this assembly, and obviously we do not really want that, because now if we delete the accessory uh, module or assembly from the scene, it will delete master control as well. So let's remove this node back. Just simply right click on it and you don't see it here because it goes off screen but there is a remove node option which you need to select. Yum yum!